Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey babes, so I'm going to show you how I transform from Mark into Pokemon. If you're Filipino, you know what Pookie means. And Mon is short for monster, so Pookie Monster, it's a little bit rude. I love the name, I'm so in love with the name, it's hilarious. Although it's a little bit rude, I still love it. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. So guys, I am wearing my retainers right now because... Why? Because I haven't worn them for like four days, so I need to wear them. They're a little bit tight, but whatever. First things first, I'm going to be covering my eyebrows using Crip Stick. There you go. You want to do a couple of layers with this. You should comb them up towards where they grow, so right up like this. Because if you comb your eyebrows to a different direction to how they normally grow, they shoot outwards. So that's not going to be good if you're trying to flatten them down. I'm going to put a wig cap on, so I'll, sorry guys, this isn't really that attractive, but who cares. I'm going to use a natural collection powder and set that glue. Now I'm just going to be moisturising my face using my Rodeal Stem Cell Superfood Glam Balm Multi. I'm going to be using the Rose Veil Cover Cream and this is going to cover my beard area. This is going to cover all the green, grey or blue undertones of your beard. So this is really good. This is really good. You can use a peachy lipstick, an orange lipstick as well. This is really great so that when your foundation goes over the top you can't see any of the 5 o'clock shadow. So for drag, my favourite is the MAC Full Coverage Foundation in NC35. I also like to use Max Factor Pan Stick and a lot of drag queens also like to use Krylon TV Pain Stick. So those are a few options for you guys. You need full coverage and liquid foundations are not really that great for drag unless you're Courtney Act. I'm just going to be stamping this onto my face. I don't like to apply it under the eyes because I'm gonna go in with a lighter colour there anyway. I'm gonna go in now with my Vichy Dermal Blend in Opal, which is a lighter colour, and go over the brows. And apply that underneath the eyes, starting from the inner corner here, side of the nose, spread that out. A rainbow motion on the forehead, a little bit on the chin, and the cheekbones. And then blend that out. I'm just going to set my face now with some natural collection powder. My skin undertone is yellow, so this is why I use a yellow tone, and I made this actually. I show you how to create your own banana tone powder and basically with this I'm just gonna beat the face so I've done half of the face now what I'm gonna do now is take the light powder again and I'm just gonna apply a heck ton of that under the eyes so that it catches the fallout this will also serve as a highlight as well okay so for the brows I like to use the precision brow gel from Illamasqua it's the best. Oh, I love it. They've got a lot of different colours and it's cream based, uh, so it does need a little bit of practice. But I'm first going to start off right here. So I like to start my brow really low so that I get a really nice arch. For my eyebrow shape, I like to draw my eyebrows straight out. Like that. And then I'm just going to make that thicker. And to set that, I like to use brow powder from Brow Bar to go by Whitening Lightning and my NYX bronzer to give an ombre look. I like to add the brow powder onto the end. And on the beginning, I like to add the bronzer to give that ombre faded look. But anyway, I'm gonna take the Super Skinny Eye Marker by NYX and draw on little brow heads at the beginning to make my brows look fluffy. 
even though there's like no hairs there because I covered it all up. Just quick strokes to give the illusion of hair. And then I'm going to take my clown white and a flat brush and redefine and highlight the brow bone. The new brow bone. When creating your drag persona, you definitely want to keep in mind of the look you want to put yourself across through as. So if you want to be fishy, if you want to be a club kid, try to experiment on different things to find your drag aesthetic and what makes it fun for you and definitely practice a lot before going out of the house in drag. And then after that, I'm just going to use my lighter powder to set that. Okay, I'm gonna be using my Sugar Pill Burning Heart palette and I'm gonna be taking Flame Point right here with a blending brush and apply that into the inner crease of the eye. I'm also gonna be taking but a cupcake and apply that right next to that and blending that outwards. And then with an Ickle brush, I'm going to take Poison Plum, which is this deep, bright purple and deepen up the crease with this. As you can see, those are three different colors, but they diffuse outwards into each other. So it's not blocks of lines. You definitely want everything to be blended. Now I'm going to mark out where I'm going to have my liner. Basically, I look straight into the mirror and see where my liner can be seen, which is up here. Right now I'm going to create my outline for my liner and I like to go thick with my liner. And I draw an inner corner wing and also an outer corner wing that goes out to here. <laughs> It gives me a guideline of where I'm supposed to just put the shadow on because a lot of queens put shadow and glitter all over here and then they cover it with glitter which is kind of superfluous so that's why I like to do it. So in the gap between the crease and the liner I'm going to be putting on my lid shade which is this colour right here from Sleek and it's from the Ultra Matte V1 palette. It's just a baby pink, it's just going to be a background colour for the glitter. And now I'm going to be adding my glitter glue, which is the LA Splash one. This is the best, honestly. And then I'm going to be adding my favourite glitter on top, which is UV Orange by Stargazer. Now I'm going to carve into the crease using my black liner. And then I am going to blend that out using my black eyeshadow from Sugar Pill called Bulletproof. And then I'm going to fill in the outline of the liner using my NYC liquid liner. Okay, so now I'm just going to be applying mascara. This is L'Oreal Miss Manga Lashes Mascara. This is going to get rid of any powder particles from the lashes. This is a really important step actually because I see a lot of drag queens who don't put mascara on and you can tell that their lashes underneath the false lashes are so powdery and white. It doesn't look nice. Now I'm gonna add these lashes. These are mostly impression lashes in number 102 but they are staggered with other lashes as well so there's, so this is about six pairs of lashes or something like that. So for my drag aesthetic, I don't like to have anything underneath the eyes. I like my eyes to be very winged out and very Asian-esque so I don't want to put anything on the lower lash line to make my eyes appear bigger this way. I want my eyes to appear bigger this way and elongated like this. Like a cat, sort of. Very Asian-esque, very cat-like. For contour, I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Bronzer in light. And this is a very warm tone bronzer and I'm just applying that to the temples and onto the hairline. And I like my contours to be blended. A lot of queens like it a little bit more harsh but I like it a little bit more blended but definitely very dramatic. I'm just applying that to the chin and the jawline. If you've got a hefty chin, just contour the heck out of your chin, like here, so that it halves it a little bit. <laughs> 
going to come to the cheeks with a blending brush and a little bit of my brow powder I'm going to deepen up the contour slightly so it creates a really sharp cheekbone line and then I'm going to blend that in with my blush brush so for blush I'm going to be using a sleek blush and I'm going to be using that orange shade right there And then I like to add cheek highlight. I'm going to add two collection pigments in Paradise and in Magical. These are both gold tones. I'm going to add one on top of the other to create a dimensional effect. So look at that glow. Add that on the very tops of the cheekbones. Now I'm adding the lighter colour on top. But I'm also going to contour my nose and try to whittle this nose down a little bit. <laughs> but I'll try my best. I'm also going to contour under the lip and a little bit on the cupid's bow right here to deepen that and then I'm also going to highlight the tip right here and also a little bit on the top of the bridge okay so I'm going to take a baby wipe now and take off the foundation and powder off my lips and for me I like to put lip liner on and too much powder on the skin tends to snap the lip liner so I don't like to apply lipstick or lip liner with powder and foundation on my lips I'm going to be applying my Giordana Easy Liner Purple Fusion I'm going to overdraw my lips just a tiny little bit and then I'm going to be adding this Claire's Blue Pencil on top on the middle So this is the final video guys, um, it's actually just a cheap wig that I styled and rooted myself and the jewellery is from Primark. This dress is actually from newfrog.com so I drag contoured my chest as well. I'm going to be doing a drag haul after this video so please look out for that. And this has been Mark Zapanta as Pokemon. Don't clock my nails, I don't have them done. That's it you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe, damn it. Bye guys!